Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the Master Grade Freedom Gundam 2.0. So to start things off, I just want to say a big thank you to Mind Phoenix Hobby Store for sending me this kit to share with you guys. I'm very excited to check this out. Also want to say a big apology to you guys that this is a little bit late. A lot of people have been asking me, when am I going to review this kit? When am I going to get this kit? When am I going to review it? Uh, it was delayed here in Korea. I think not all of the releases because I've seen some other Korean reviewers review it already. So I don't know, maybe just um, the mine was delayed for some reason here in Korea. I think that uh, like the initial batch that uh, we got here in Korea was just not enough. I think there's just a uh, really huge demand for this kit in general, so I think maybe that's why, I don't know. Anyway, for whatever reason, it's late, but it's here now, so hopefully this uh, unboxing and the subsequent review will be useful and is in some way entertaining for you guys. So let's get into it. Great box art here. Uh, as I said, when uh, before this kit came out, talking about this in Gundam News, Gunpla News, uh, I said I really like the pose that they went with for the box art for this. I think it really would have been very easy for them to just do like the beam spam pose with all the cannons and everything pointed out. and just, That would have been just kind of boring though. I think this is a lot more dynamic pose here so it looks really really cool. Uh, definitely really shows off the redesign of the kit of it being much more slim and sort of angular. Um, kind of a lot more mechanical looking rather than the original MG which was much more closer to how the mobile suit appears in the anime. So I think that's really cool and I think someone mentioned that already. It may have been Mecha Kaigotsu. I'm not sure who said that in their review. I've seen a couple of reviews of this kit already. Someone was saying that uh, it's nice that we have the 1.0 and this one. For, for fans who want a Master Grade that looks more like how it looks in the anime, you can still go with the 1.0. For fans who want something a little bit kind of more sleek, a different design, uh, this 2.0 should be a really nice kit. And from what I've seen of it, it is a super nice kit. So that's what makes me really excited to check, to check out this kit. Uh, we can see it slashing through a couple of, uh, I believe those are Jin's mobile suits there. Uh, I'm... I don't really have a problem with Gundam Seed. It's Some people really hate it, right? Of course, it gets a lot of flack. Uh, I don't really have that big of a problem with it. It's not my favorite series, to be honest, but I didn't think it was that bad. Um, and as you guys may know, the Freedom Gundam in general is not one of my favorite designs, but I think this kit does look super, super nice, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out. So on the bottom and top, we're just going to have this, basically the same thing as on the front of the box. If we go to the side here, we can see we've just got a front view and rear view there, action, there's our beam spam pose uh, with some new redesigns there in the cannon as well. I think that's really cool how that opens up. It's a neat gimmick. I'm looking forward to checking that out. Details, just about the wings, details in lo looks like the torso uh, separation. Not really too big of a fan of this, like this molded uh, word detail, like it has like the zaft and like the number there. Uh, it's like molded into the part. Not really a big fan of that personally. Uh, armor looks like some cool like layered armor there on the legs weaponry relatively basic pilot figure the cockpit hatch opens of course and then our markings I'm guessing this is going to have some uh, dry transfer decals in here though I can't remember although now I can see in the photo it does so uh, again just more gimmicks it's going to be a very gimmicky kit a lot of uh, new technology being used here for the inner frame of this kit although I have also heard that the hips are particularly dangerous to snap that peg, so yes, I know about that. Yes, I'm going to be careful about that, and yes, I am going to mention that in the review, of course. Uh, and then about the chest, really cool gimmick there as well from what I've seen, so looking forward to checking that out. And then here's what the kit is going to look like just out of the box with nothing done to it except for just the stickers and markings on it, so it looks like it is coming with marking stickers as well as dry transfers, so that's nice. 4,500 yen for the list price of this kit, I think very reasonable considering uh, a lot of master grades as of late I think have been a little bit higher. The first bag there is our multicolored A runner, very recognizable. Here's our base, again nothing new, a bunch of inner frame there, gray inner frame stuff, the dark blue parts, the light blue parts, beam effect parts, more white armor parts, bunch there, more white armor parts, some light gray for the rail guns on the hips, parts for the shield, 
Some more light blue, looks like mostly stuff for the wings there. Uh, some more light gray, more dark blue, and then a bunch more inner frame here. So definitely a lot of stuff in there, and there's all our stickers and markings. And in here, we've got some cool stuff. We've of course got a advertisement for the P-Bandai set. Uh, not getting that. And as well as an advertisement for the new Figure Eyes bust. Uh, things. So these look kind of interesting. Not really interested in having uh, either a Kira or an Othran one, but maybe some other characters, if they keep up the line, might eventually pick up one of those. Uh, the Master Grade manual here is the typical uh, layout for the more recent Master Grade kits. On the back we do have a really big image here, a nice big photo reference of a painted kit. Skip to the middle section here, MS Trex in CE, uh, then yeah, I guess just talking about that, here we can see it beheading the, I believe that is the Impulse Gundam, right, yeah, I think so, uh, and then here painting, painting guide, painting guide for the figure. Uh, one step point about doing panel lining there, of course that's going to help the look of your kit, whether you're painting or not painting. Uh, then just a look about the inner frame, again more, more about some of the gimmicks and everything there, weapons, check it, about the different uh, characters from Gundam Seed. Uh, going to the front here, again just more information about the freedom, some information about the other GAT suits there, and all of that. Again, if you can read Japanese, that'd be useful. Here's our parts list. And yeah, another interesting about this interesting thing about this kit is that it doesn't have any polycaps at all. I, I believe the last kit that didn't have a single polycap in it was the Master Grade Shinanju, if I remember correctly. So it's been a couple years uh, since we've had one that was totally without polycaps, so it should be interesting. Um, starting off with the torso and then the head. Just going to go through this kind of quickly. Uh, arm units and then the waist unit. Then the waist, the legs, right leg, left leg, all of that. Then the wings and railgun. So putting all that stuff, that's like the kind of main weapons. And then the handheld weapons, the shield and the rifle. Uh, all of that. The base, mounting it on the base, looks like it mounts into the backpack, so similar to like the uh, Wing Zero Custom, which I believe was the first kit to use this base, maybe? Or I know it's one of the very few kits to use this connection piece, uh, so maybe that's why I'm thinking of the Wing Zero Custom, but... Anyway, uh, yeah, and then the gimmick about the railgun, uh, or sorry, whatever these cannons are, I think these are not railguns, there's some other kind of cannon, I forget, but... Uh, looks like the front part extends and then these parts kind of open up. So again, that's pretty cool. Uh, how to finagle all of that stuff. And then finally, uh, uh, where all of the markings are going to go on the kit. So let's go ahead and check everything out. Alright, so first up is our foil stickers. And as you can see, pretty minimal here, basically just for the eyes and then all of the cameras. The kind of main cameras. Uh, looks like front and back of the head, one for the beam rifle maybe, and then one two, maybe for some two other cannons. Then we've got our marking stickers here, some pretty cool marking stickers, but again, I don't use these, so if you guys want these, leave a comment down below, first one to do so, and I'll send these out to you, because I don't want to see them go to waste. And then we have our dry transfer decals. I will be using these, so I will be keeping these. Uh, I do have a sort of a love-hate relationship. I definitely prefer water slides, but uh, there is no denying that dry transfers do look probably the best, but they're just a little bit more tricky, eh? SB1 here for beam saver effect parts, just regular uh, 1 100 scale clear pink beam saver effect parts. Base 2 here molded in black, uh, just a regular base 2 used for some 1 100 scale kits and on the rare occasion 1 144 scale. Our multicolored A runner here has one yellow piece, just a couple of clear, just plain clear pieces there at the bottom, a uh, handful of red and then a bunch of white here, parts for the head, it looks like skirt armor and then make you know, in the waist and things like that. V-Fin is looking very huge. Uh, here's just a look at some of the details so you can see the pilot figure it's up close. There's that. You can also take a look at the runner marking. It's going to be MG1100 Freedom Gundam version 2.0. The B runner is a bunch more of our white parts here, so you can see it's pretty much going 
everywhere else. And then we do have two of these, so double B runner there. C runner is once again uh, doubled here, more parts here in white. And you can see something that's really cool that I like. I really like this about the Hakushiki 2.0 is that they have a bunch of these like small little cutouts in the armor where you're going to be able to see just little bits of gray of the inner frame poking through there. Really, really nice detail. And the last of our white parts here is going to be runner D, just parts for the shield and the beam rifle. Runner E1 is going to be all of our dark blue parts, just dark navy blue here. And then we also have E2, which is a copy of this lower section there. Runner F1, a sort of lighter-ish gray color, sort of neutral gray, but it definitely has a little bit of, like, tiny little bit of brownish in it there. And we do also have uh, F2, which is a copy of this section of that runner. It looks like all the parts for the railgun there, mostly. Runner G is now getting into our sort of standard royal blue color here, really nice color. And we have two of the G runner, as it's going to be parts for the feet and some parts for the wings on there as well. Runner H is more blue parts, um, again more parts for the wings, beam rifle, waist unit, and that is it for all of the blue parts. Runner I is a huge runner here of parts for the inner frame, so stuff there, stuff for the, there, the hands, beam rifle in the torso, the waist section, backpack, and head, all of that stuff is here on the I runner. And last but certainly not least is the J runner. Again, very large runner here of more parts for the inner frame. And this is stuff for the arms and legs and wings. So we do have two of this J runner. So that's going to do it for unboxing the Master Grade Freedom Gundam 2.0. Looks like a great kit. Again, I will definitely probably have no problems keeping my uh, feelings about the Freedom Gundam in general. Out of this, this uh, build and review should be pretty unbiased. And that's just because no matter what I feel about the Freedom Gun now, uh, this kit looks really, really awesome. So it looks like it's going to be a really, really great quality kit. So uh, with that, I'll see you guys coming up in the review. Coming up next, if you do have any other questions or comments, do leave those down below. But uh, yeah, other than that, bye-bye.